Hi friends, welcome to Red, I mean Crypto. Let's see what's going on in the markets, let's see how you feel, let's see what you're searching, and let's see what the charts are saying. If you're interested and want to know the current state of the markets, stick around and roar hard. <laughs> Thank you for still being in this video. Of course, fear. What else do you feel? Fear, fear, extreme fear, fear. That's about the dynamics that we are going through in the last couple of months, right? So, if you feel like crap, you're not the only one. Enough said. Let's see what you're searching. Or why not just put the term crypto into Google Trends? See? We're getting everything we need. Now, I took the time frame of about uh, one year, exactly one year, to see how this term is searched. Simple stuff. And beware, this will give you many, many insights that you probably never thought of. For example, this chart is pointing to us one particular thing that in the May of last year, when we had the highest interest of people, we touched 100. This is May 2021. We exceeded interest that came, what month was this? October, November, it doesn't matter. The important thing is this, how could you use this chart and be with a simple line, pretty accurate about what is happening, what's about to happen and so on with the price. Listen, you remember what happened here, yeah, we went to about 60 something, but here we almost touched $70,000 and if you remember, the hype was real, I too hyped, because we surpassed that all-time highs in the price of Bitcoin, for example. Now, the thing is, this chart is showing you divergence to that chart, the price chart, because the price exceeded that peak of 60 something thousand dollars in Bitcoin. But you can see here that not many people were on board. In May of 2021, we had far larger interest. This is a divergence in correlation to the price. And that alone could be our first signal that we're about to do this. That that move to $69,000 or $70,000 was not the real move. Because people exited the markets, but the price continued higher. We shouldn't see this. If that move was real, we should exceed this peak. Okay? And from that point on, you can see pretty clearly that we are in continuous downtrend. At this point, that downtrend is still not ending. So are we calling the reverse? No. According to your searches on Google Trends, absolutely not. We are still in a downtrend. We are still in a danger zone of going more to the downside. Yes, according to the price, something is changing, but according to your searches and the interests of mainstream, nope, not yet. But maybe the price chart will contradict all of this. Let's see. This is total market cap of all the cryptocurrencies combined. I think this is the best chart when you need to take a general picture, not one particular coin, Bitcoin or anything, just all the coins. We are now in 1.8 trillion dollars. I always like to keep things simple, so that's it for me, the simplest as it can be. As long as we are above this line of support and we are touching it right now, we're good. But the price is looking kind of heavy, it's like hammering that support. And if that one break, well, it could be really ugly. Still, we need to assume continuation and continuation is something like this, a move to the upside. You know, because yeah, the price is looking heavy, it's really trying hard to get out of that supportive zone, but for now it's doing that. It is supported. Among the many ways that I can draw this channel, one of the options is like this, to go to those zones of support, like this, like this, and like today. By the way, disregard please those wicks, those are not organic, those are some glitches according to my chart charts.cointrader.pro the real deal are those smaller ones this is a little exaggerated price data but that is not the topic because the candles are enough for our analysis and as i said we can take those points 
of resistance to make the parallel channel. So the thing is pretty simple, oh god, what a large bubble. If we stay inside of this channel that we are creating all the way from January of this year, one more time I will repeat what I just said. Continuation touch in a couple of next weeks is probable. We will do this, what we did here in February, we will do this that we did here in March. So in May, for example, why not assuming continuation to the upside? Now, this is the subjective part of me drawing on the chart. This line of 233 exponential moving average is the objective part. I can not draw this, it's already drawn on the screen. And look at the significance of it. Here it pushed us real hard to the downside. Here the exact same thing, we plummeted. Here, well, in here we broke it. And at that point, to get that bullish scenario that we all are waiting for, the price should hold here. It didn't. Now we are facing it with something different. I must say that crypto according to this chart is looking bearish. We must follow the facts. Because not only yesterday we got rejected from that 233 exponential moving average and we are now below it. If you want to believe in this EMA, yeah, there is a possibility of a big continuation to the downside. The point is, be careful. For the bullish scenario, this should have hold. It didn't. The 233 MA is standing on 1.9 trillion. We should have hold that line. We didn't. Unfortunately, crypto is looking bearish, according to this, according to searches. And obviously, according to your sentiment, which is fearful. My analysis is saying, stay on the sidelines. Don't get ahead of yourself. Yes, we could be recovering if we climb above 1.9. If not, a huge risk of us moving lower and lower still exists. Now, what was the status of market in our last crypto analysis video? I can't remember. But you now have the chance to review my video. Thank you for that. You are here for me. I'm here for you. We are our big crypto community. Roar and stay strong.